Hey, this is Judge Waits bringing you another Destiny video. In this one, we're looking at the Queen's Wrath. This is a limited time event. And if you go right into this area, normally there's a curtain right here, but it is down. So the Queen sent her emissary back here. And we're going to go talk to her. I'm going to show you what you can get. I think when the Iron Banner Crucible event comes to town, this is where the guy sets up shop right there. But we're going to head back here. I'll show you what she has for sale. I'll tell you how you can get it. And I'm also hearing that you can get guaranteed legendary armor or legendary items so we'll check that out but this is what she has for sale you can see some purple shaders purple is not my color so I'm not gonna pick these up or these emblems or anything like that whatever guardian you're picking up or you're playing there'll be a guardian specific item right here as well and then there's also some rare weapons that you can buy now I already have some similar rare items some similar rare weapons so I'm not gonna really worry about them the nice thing about this is though you can pick them up for glimmer instead of using like your Vanguard points or something like that else and I have a lot of glimmer so this would be nice if you could do that or if you really needed these types of weapons now the other thing that you need besides the glimmer is a queen rank 2 now how do you get the queen rank 2 all right it's basically done by picking up the bounty so I'm gonna fast forward here though all right so this is over at the bounty area and we'll talk to this guy I've already done one of the bounties and I'll tell you about that and why I did it here in a minute but these are the available bounties you've got some PvP ones and you can see uh, they are all about defeating guardians with a scout rifle getting headshots and the hand cannon getting headshots. I am not going to participate in those. I stink in PvP, so I'm going to stick over to these. So uh, defeat 20 enemies on the fallen enemies on any planet. Get 200 headshots against fallen. So these would be nice to do together. And then there's two story ones. I've already done one that I told you about. Uh, defeat Winter Krell, though. And then there's another one where you defeat the second level on the Cosmodrome. Now I did these because I wanted to open up a different area. I will say this too though, as you can tell, if you do all six of these, you'll get 500 points. You need a thousand to get to rank two for the queen's level. So I'm going to focus on these. I'll probably end up getting 300. So I'll have to do these over three days in order to get my level up there. But if you did them all, you can get it 500. You can get it done in two days with these bounties. But let me show you why I did this. I'm going to go back into outer space and I'll show you what you need to do there. All right. As soon as you get back into the orbit, this area right here is going to be opened up as soon as you complete one bounty. So to complete any one bounty, I'd recommend doing the Earth one. It's a level two. I put it on three just to get through it super fast. But this is the area, and I'm hearing that when you do this, you can actually get a legendary. You're guaranteed to get a legendary item. So I'm going to test that out. It's a level 24. You've got to be up there, and I'll talk about that here in a minute. But let's go into it. All right, so this is the start of the mission. Look on the bottom left, you can see the modifiers that are gonna be on this mission. And pay attention to, especially like the ones in the middle, that is the arc modifier. That means when we get into those areas where they are restricted spawning, you're gonna to have to have that type of weapon with does that extra damage, that arc damage on it, in order to take out these guys' shields. If you use something else, it's really gonna be like nerfing your weapon. You won't do as much damage, but you're gonna get bonus damage if you use those types of weapons. Weapon. So make sure you pay attention to that bottom left, but I'm going to fast forward to the end of this video and we'll see if we get that legendary item after I beat it. All right, so we're at the last part. I am getting ready my uh, heavy weapon. As you can see, look at the bottom of the screen. There are the little arc modifiers. That means I'm doing that type of arc damage on these weapons. Now I've got my regular weapon here, but let me switch. Uh, let's see, my, not my shotgun. Here's my heavy and we'll see how fast we can melt these guys. All right, see, I'm doing tons of crazy damage on these guys and not too shabby even on that boss guy. So let me take out the little guys first, though. We'll get through this. I have a feeling this gun is just going to melt this guy. All right, where is everybody? All right, let's just get over there. I don't want to waste your time. There's that guy. Normally he'd be... Okay, here we go. Oh man. Oh, look how easy that was. It was a lot harder actually getting here, trying to fight the guys, than actually taking him out. So I can't stress how important it is to have the right weapon or the right damage modifier on your weapon. So make sure you bring the right weapon. But let's fast forward and see if I get that legendary piece of equipment. Looks like I got a couple bounties done while I was doing that. And here we go. Come on. 
Give it to me. There we go. Nice. All right, so there is a guaranteed piece of legendary equipment, I think, or legendary armor or piece of equipment. I think the one I have right now is a little bit better, but I can always dismantle that for Ascendant Shards, which I need really badly. So uh, hopefully this helps you out. Let me see. Let me go back to orbit. Okay, I was wondering if we'd be able to do this again, but I guess not. Unless maybe we turn in another bounty and it opens it up. Let's go back to the tower and try it out. All right, so I turned in a bounty. Let's see if it's opened up. Yeah. Oh, wow. This might mean potentially multiple pieces of legendary armor every day. I don't know. That's just crazy, especially with as hard as it's been to get legendary items. If you can get like five a day or something like that, that is crazy. Well, I hope this helps you out. Make sure you take advantage of this. Make sure you subscribe for more great Destiny videos and check out my Destiny video playlist. You can click the link on your screen right now or go into the video description and click the link there. But guys, as always, take care and God bless.